Hey guys, I'm slowly but surely working my way through the backlog. This is a lock uh, uh, from Jeff Moss. He sent this along with several others um, probably several months ago. This is a Corbin and it's uh, this is a challenge lock and this is how it came, came with this cool back plate all solid probably solid brass. Anyway, it looks like a five pinner. He did send me some keys that don't work. Try one of these other ones. There we go, that one works. Alright, well we don't need no stinking key. Let's see if we can get this thing clamped up. And we will, if we can't pick it. Jeff is a collector of Corbin, so anything Corbin, he wants it, he or he owns it already. Alright, let's see what we got here. Um, if that'll work, yeah, that's wide enough. I'll use that one, and I will start with a 15 thousandths because these have a kind of a, a weird keyway. You got to work from one corner to the other, and you need the thin pick to kind of work around the corner. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, light tension. It was pin four, pin three, pin two, that was pin five and we got a serious fault set. No telling what Jeff has put in here for us. Pin one. Can't quite get him. Can't quite get around that corner there. Okay, got him that time. And there we go. Well, Jeff, let's see what you put in here for me, buddy. It feels like uh, two spools, and that's really about it, I think. So we need a screwdriver, which I happen to have in surplus. Okay, we got a medium, the 500 thousandths, and let's see what we got here. Pins up, put it in like this, and see what we got. Oh, it looks like a five pinner. This chamber six is empty for some strange reason. Okay, we got some master wafers. A lot of them, which explains why this thing might have been so easy to get into. This is no challenge lock. Alright, let's see what's in the drivers. Spool. 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 Wow, a lot more spools than I thought. And one standard. So there you go, fellas. I think that's it. You don't need to bring the springs out of there. All right, we're looking at four spools, one standard in position number five, and the rest of these are all the key pins are standard, and four of them had master wafers in them. So there you go. Jeff, thanks for the lock. Thanks for the challenge lock. And buddy, stay safe, stay legal. All right, fellas, you know I can't leave well enough alone. This was a six-pin core, and I hate seeing empty holes on core, so I'm going to fill it. So whoever gets this next, here is the uh, challenge you're going to see. This will be a challenge lock. I got rid of all those uh, master wafers, so it's, you're not going to be able to find an easy shear line. 
Uh, these are all, as you see, super long pins, and I got in the back a, a really short one hiding back there. Uh, it does use the same key, it's just that it uh, has an extra pin there and no master wafers. On the top, I got rid of uh, some of the all the spools, a little bit too consistent and predictable, and I've added in some uh, T pins, and I'll probably mess around with the springs a little bit as well. So whoever gets this thing next, you're going to have some fun ahead of you. Anyway, there you go, fellas.